In this video, I'll show you how to fix your Toyota 4Runner clock if it stopped working completely or if the numbers are dimmed and you can't read it. It's something that can be done, I think, in about 10 minutes, 15 minutes at your home and you don't need special skills. I don't have skills and I've done it quite easily. All right, so what you'll need is a soldering gun with a fine tip like this one okay. you'll need you may need some soldering wire many times it won't be necessary but have it around then you will need a knife or a small flathead screwdriver like this one this is just to open the casing the plastic casing and have access to the electronic components and finally, you'll need a small Phillips screwdriver. This one is a PH1, the bit here. All right, so you need a small one. Let's get started. So first, let's get access to the electronics inside the clock. To do this, you need to pry those four plastic tabs with your uh, flathead screwdriver. Do it slowly because it's plastic and they break sometimes. Okay, great. You just need to um, yeah, pry it slowly. Like so. Here we go. Oops, this one needs a bit more. Great. Now open it up facing down because these buttons will fall down everywhere and you'll lose them if you try opening it the other way. So put this aside. And now we have the clock, inside the clock. You'll take your Phillips screwdriver and as you can see, there are two Phillips screws you'll need to remove. These two. So let's do it. Now you can lift this uh, electronic part, just hold it by here and separate it from this plastic part, put this aside. Okay, great. Now what we have to do is just to turn it around and here we go. This is the board. What's going on with these clocks is after a few years or decades in many cases, this soldering are going bad and they're cracking. It's You won't see it with your naked eye, but they do crack. So what we need to do is simply take the soldering gun and heat them up. You see all these four? Well, we need to heat up each side of them so the cracks will disappear and in I would say 90% of cases because I repair many clocks this will solve the problem but if after trying this it doesn't work just put some uh, new soldering um, over it take your soldering wire and just melt more add some more all right so let's try this out so I have my soldering gun all warmed up and I can start. So all you have to do is, let me get a close-up shot here, is yeah, to heat up all those connections. Here we go. And as I said, you know, I'm not a professional so soldiering person. Uh, if you're one of them, you're probably laughing at my skills. And I mean, it's fine. <laughs> but this is working. You just need to rub it on these connectors. Like so. Don't burn the circuit board. Okay, good, good, that's perfect. OK, 
okay i think uh, we are done so uh well i'll test it out and i suggest you just um reassemble let me show you wait a second I suggest you reassemble the clock with just this part first so you can test it out in your car before um, reassembling it completely. So let's put this back. These connector things should match those here. So put it this way. Okay, and you'll need to put uh, those two screws here unless I'm, I mean I guess you can just hold it to like this and try it out in your car to see if it works so uh, give me a second I'll test it out all right so let's see if it works uh, I have the connector right here I hope it does yes cool as you can see it's very bright and uh, yeah the numbers are really lit perfect this means just by heating up those contacts it solved our problem so now we can disconnect it from your car and uh, we need to reassemble the casing which is super simple so the screws the small screws hope you didn't lose them okay and uh, the rest of the casing is really simple you take this part and you snap it back make sure everything is tight and voila and well, if this didn't solve your problem, you can also go on eBay. I think they are about $30, $40, maybe less for um, a used one that works. So thanks and see you in the next video.